Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Britt here, and today I wanted to talk about some of my new notebooks. First, you may have seen this on Instagram. Um, I've shown some pictures of it, and I've been using it for about a good week now, I believe. Um, week or a little bit longer than a week. It is very bright and perfect for the spring and summer. Um, I got this from Barina at SojournerUSA.net. For those of you who are new to my channel, I absolutely adore uh, the Sojourner notebooks. I have a ton of them. For instance, I have this one in the Surprise Leather. I did a video of this one. You'll see it up in the cards. I also have this one, which is in the Yale Leather. And um, this is a B6. This is also a B6. And then this is the B6 Slim. So you can see size comparison. The B6 Slim is a bit n narrower. And then I also have, of course, my Hobonichi Techo, which is the A6 size, um, which is almost about the size of a B6 Slim, but shorter. Maybe about a quarter of an inch skinnier. So, there are similarities um, between this and this notebook. This one, which you've seen many times if you are not new to my channel, um, she ended up using a deer leather for this cover. This was one of the very um, few that she came out with um, for her, she has a, a subscription and so she had extra and she only sold about like 30 or she only had 30 extra. So this is one of the originals. And then she ran out of this orange leather and had to get a replacement, which is pretty identical. It's not as pebbly. Um, so there's the orange and then she has the Rose of Sharon, which is what she calls her pink leather. So this one is the same as this leather, the Rose of Sharon. And then she has her, uh, turmeric leather which is um, a yellow and she does not have she I don't even know if she has any more of the turmeric and then of course the orange now this orange is not the same as this orange as I had mentioned um, it is it does feel not as it doesn't look as pebbly as this one does but they're pretty smooth. This one seems a little bit more plush, kind of like you squeeze it, it's a little bit more plush than this one, um, but still a very beautiful color. So this one I am currently using, um, or the notebook inside is from Nanami, and I am using it for journaling. Um, I don't think I will do more than show like little bits and pieces like this. I won't do a complete flip through just because there's a lot of personal information in here. Now I kind of wanted to do a review of this notebook and I guess I can do it now. All I have to say for the most part is that I absolutely love the Nanami notebook. This is the cafe notebook um, in the B6 slim size. And, and I think on the website it's called B6 size, but don't get um, confused because they actually mean it's going to be this narrow size. And it's not, it will not be the wider size unless they come out with a new notebook. Now, the only problem I have with this notebook is, and I, I don't know if it's a notebook or if it's, if it's my cover, but I think it's a notebook, is that I have pulled it in and out so many times of its cover and 
it's kind of bent here so it's not as sturdy for after if I'm writing a you know long periods of time and then I want to fold it it gets a little wonky when it folds like one side is a little bit longer here than the other side so I kind of have to like shimmy it and adjust it to get it to the right get in there correctly and I think it's because I have pulled it in and out so many times that this isn't as sturdy and it kind of bends and folds but other than that I would say um, for any of you guys who are interested in the B6 slim size it is a great size easy to hold in the hand and take with you it's not too heavy you know I can you can see already I've probably made it almost halfway through this notebook I think it is 300 something pages of Tomoe River paper and it is absolutely fountain pen friendly and watercolor friendly and a lot of different medium friendly um, so that's what I'm using this for I believe uh, she may have some more of this notebook she has a couple of other options where you can change out um, the different leather colors um, on her website so don't forget to check her out if you're interested in this and then the next notebook I want to talk about is this guy and while I'm explaining these you'll see up in the corner somewhere on the screen that I am also showing you my unboxing of these of these two notebooks um, I was going to do just like an unboxing video but I made it really short and straight to the point and I know some people may have thought it was kind of pointless so I thought why not explain and then also add my unboxing in the corner so this notebook is from Maker South Oops. Maker South and here's their business card if I can pick it up this is their business card I found them from watching documented journeys video and how she was so thrilled and so excited about her notebook and um, after she had used it for a while she still loved it so I thought, well, this is a nice shop, and I went to visit their website, and I really loved, um, I don't know if you guys know this, but I really like the brown leathers, the natural leathers, for the most part. And so they have so many different leather options, and so many different leather names, that I was like, I was so excited. I was like, oh gosh, I'm going to get something new, something that... You know, not a lot of people have, or at least in, or what I assume, not a lot of people have in the Traveler's Notebook slash Folio um, society, I guess. Um, because people usually, it seems like from all the videos you see online, on YouTube, most of them are from either Foxy Fix or Chic Sparrow, the popular ones. And so this is actually the first time I've heard of a Maker South. And I thought, why not check them out? Pretty much with this notebook, it is in the A5 size. It is a black threading, which you have the option in choosing different colors. And then this leather is actually called the Horine Brown Vintage Leather. Being that it is an A5 folio, the price was very, very, very reasonable um, in comparison to other five, other A5s out there on the market. Um, and I haven't started using this because I just got this folio in yesterday. Um, but this is the MD notebook in the cotton that I have in here right now. I did order a... 7 C's um, A5 notebook which I'm waiting for it to arrive but I thought why not give this a try I haven't tried this notebook yet but as for the leather it is very smooth it's not rough like it may look on camera but 
Um, it has a wide enough interior pocket uh, where you kind of have to bend the notebook a little bit to get it in there. You also have the option of customizing what pockets you may want on, I'm sure, either side. But I got the very basic. And I will be bringing you along with me on how I use this insert in this folio. And that's pretty much it, you guys. So I want to thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please list them down in the comments below. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye.